It looks like Rachel Zegler has actually responded to a lot of the criticisms she is facing online over uh, her Snow White comments that she made back at D23 Expo last September. Uh, she basically retweeted a Lady Gaga fan account, uh, two videos that that fan account shared where Lady Gaga is expressing her disgust with men. And I think this, this is my opinion, I think that Rachel Zegler is lashing out at quote unquote men for criticizing her, even though she's getting criticisms from both men and women. And it's coming from everyone. It's not just men. It's not just older men. It's not just white men. It's not just black men. It's not just Asian men. It's everyone. Everyone is criticizing her. And she is just lashing out at men, trying to say that, woe is me. I'm the victim. All these mean, bad men are attacking me. I'm not going to go over uh, over her comments. I feel like I've done that uh, on a number of videos now. Uh, but uh, if you want to, if you want to go over it, we got it here on the website. You can go over it. But needless to say, she thinks the prince is a stalker. She thinks that there. She says there's not going to be a love story. She says it's going to be a journey. Uh, like Snow White story is going to be a journey of self discovery. Uh, fairness has been changed. It's no longer about beauty. It's about justice and uh, like fairness in that aspect and about whether or not she's a good leader. Uh, it doesn't even. We don't even know if we're going to get a prince. She implies that the, the prince might not even exist in this movie. It it doesn't even sound like a Snow White movie whatsoever, but those are basically, I kind of summarize what she said. Uh, and then she's also demeaned the original 1937 classic, basically saying that it's dated. The ideas that the, the, the movie presents of women are, are dated and, and outdated, and, and she doesn't like the way that it presents them, even though the evil queen is literally the one who's in, who has power and sends out the huntsman to murder Snow White and then goes out and tries to poison her. So who even knows what she's even talking about here? Uh, she says she hadn't watched it since she was since she was a child. She was scared of it. And then she says she watches it all the time and she loves Snow White. So uh, who knows? She's con she's got like contradictory comments on that. But that's pretty much the gist of what she has said. Um, and then she's been criticized by lots of people. You got very dark, very dark here. So I just want to give some, some examples of the criticism. She says, Rachel Zegler admitting she didn't like Snow White growing up, saying she had only watched it once before getting the role is so sad to me out of millions of women who love the character, care about the story. And yet this is who we get. So criticizing her for someone who didn't like the story. Uh, I think that's, uh, legitimate we've got tugs the coast of geeks and gamers poor choices she says rachel zegler is single-handedly destroying this movie my tiktok feed is full of people on all sides posting about her holier than thou crappy attitude is not okay and snow doesn't need to be modern it's impressive how many people she's turned against seeing snow white um we got geeky sparkles from clownfish tv saying lol it's like everyone is united and hating on the live action snow white and rachel zegler like girl needs to stop talking i can say that because i too am a girl i can say it too I'm a, and i'm a man it doesn't matter uh we've got this random twitter user i don't know who i don't even know who this is friendly trouble uh tweeted rachel zegler seems like the most annoying person ever sorry not sorry and all of them kind of except for uh geeky sparkles basically are sharing videos of the comments that she said i think this one here on the right is uh, where she's like, I better get paid for every single minute that that Snow White movie is streamed. <laughs> And she's just kind of really being uh, being snotty. You've got Disprew YouTuber. He says, Rachel has always had an undes undeserved ego, even on her previous financial films. Uh, translation, Rachel Zegler, I don't, uh, I don't forget that you said this. Let's see them explain to me what it means to be Latina, WTF. So I, I, I haven't watched this video, but she's probably explaining what it means to be a Latina. In it. But then she, re she retweeted these two videos. I'm not going to play them because there's cursing in them. And I just... I, I don't want to I don't want to expose you to that I don't want to expose myself to that but uh, anyways the first one Lady Gaga walks into a back bathroom and screams F God effing men uh, let's I'll actually play it and then I'll see if I can mute it here real quick okay it's muted yeah so there you can see it it's just her the Lady Gaga just screaming in a bathroom I think this is in, from one of the films that she did I, I don't recognize which one it is I don't know what it's from but that's what that is. And then you've got this one here. Uh, it looks like this is just her, like, I don't know, day in her life or something like that. I don't know what it is. Um, but anyway, she says in this one, I just feel like my threshold for, like, bullshit with men is, it's just, I don't have any, uh, I just don't have one anymore. We can actually listen to that one. I don't think this one's too bad. I feel like my threshold for, like, bullshit with men is, is just, I don't have one anymore. 
Just don't care. So that's the video here. And you can see that Rachel Zegler did indeed uh, re uh, repost these, I guess is what it's called now. You can see here, uh, Rachel Zegler reposted this. Rachel Zegler reposted it. Got a screenshot of both of them. And so she didn't do, do that. And I think this is a response to her. And she's trying to blame men for the backlash. And I just, uh, I just find it absolutely hilarious. She's not going to change. She's going to play the victim. And this is what Disney's going to do. They're going to play like I, when she probably can actually um, talk when she's not being muzzled by the SAG after. They're going to play the Moses Ingram card like they did in Obi Wan Kenobi. They're going to say that she's getting all this kind of racist hate and uh, sexist hate, and all the people criticizing it are misogynistic and racist and whatever else uh, things that they can manage to call people who are absolutely. Uh, responding to the nasty comments that she made. And she's not going to take any responsibility for it. She's going to play victim and she's going to double down on everything that she said. And uh, they're going to put that movie out and it's going to be done despite, it's going to be done to demoralize and they're going to continue doing it because Disney doesn't stop doing this. And <laughs> they are all in on the culture war, despite Bob Iger saying that they, he doesn't want to be involved in any kind of culture war, but they clearly are. And they're clearly making lots of movies to push their side of the culture war. But let me know what you think. Do you think she's actually responding to these snow to the Snow White criticisms? I think she is. Maybe she's not. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe for more.